I don't think that I could express the amount of excitement I feel in this moment right now. We are starting officially on the subfloor. So before I start on the actual back end of the subfloor, uh, I'm really, really excited to start on the front end where the mat used to be up here. I have everything almost ready to put that back in. So basically the mat had a big old hole up in the front. I'll show you where it was right there. There was a hole there because of just, you know, use and, and someone walking on it all the time. So I had to patch that up. And what I did was I took a thing, a kill mat. I took a piece of kill mat. I put it underneath it, filled in the inside with some, some extra caulking that I had that I just wasn't going to use anyways. And then I went over the top of that with another piece of kill mat. So that's what I did to patch it. I was looking online to see if I could order a replacement, but none of them are like fitted the exact same way as the factory one. So I decided to just keep the factory one and fix it. So I patched the hole. And now my next step is to make it look not ugly. So this is what it looks like. And I ordered this which is a waterproof sealant. It's a roll on rubber basically. So I'm gonna roll on this rubber, let that dry, and then we will be putting that back in the van. Oh, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna be black, which I'm excited about. And then once that's done, and I know for sure that there are no more leaks, we could put our steps back in here. And then we are going to be starting on the rest of the subfloor. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that. But first, I'm going to lay just one piece of kill mat down in this area. The rest of the van has like basically like a rubber kind of like thick kill matty type of material on it anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that piece of kill mat down. We're going to paint that rubber mat. And then I will see you guys after that. Good morning. So good news is it's not raining today and the weather's supposed to get sunny and 70 in the next week or so, which I am excited about. But today is overcast, it's a little cloudy, but no rain. It did rain for the last few days. It was raining pretty hard and I have good news. So window does not leak. There's no water under here which there was prior. It was just full of water and there's no water pooling on either side of the van. No water leaking from the ceiling. So that means we are officially leak free. Rust has been treated and we are ready for subfloor. So today my goal is to get our subfloor ready to be installed. So my first mission I already started was to take the mat that was originally in the front here and I took some liquid rubber and I painted it and I patched a hole. My whole patch job isn't perfect but at least it's not a hole so I ordered some small like little black rugs like vehicle mats that'll go here and here just to kind of cover the hole on the driver's side. Other than that though, I really like how it turned out. It's really, um, it kind of looks like Raptor liner, the liquid rubber. So it's black, but it's like um, still flexible. So I'm gonna put that back in the van. And then for my subfloor, I wanted to, I want to do as much as I can to save money in this build. So instead of buying new plywood, I am actually going to use this. And this is what was in the van. 
originally. So what I'm gonna do is clean it up really nice and I'm gonna do the liquid rubber on that. And then the back half of that, which will be in the back half of the van, I'm going to just leave as the, like the rubber that will be in the garage area underneath the bed. And I'm only gonna put flooring from the middle wheel wells forward where I'm actually going to have living space. So that's gonna cut costs down on flooring and plywood for the subfloor. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. I can always, if I decide I don't like how it's turning out or if you know, ch I change my mind, there's that too, but I'm gonna try and do it this way and see how I feel about it and save some money while we do that. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and get started today. I am going to, I think gonna start with cleaning up that as much as I can, get some rubber on there. And then while that first coat of rubber is drying, I'm going to put that back in the van. So let's get to it. The sun came out. I closed the doors because it was starting to rain. But we have our mat back in there. I think it looks great. It definitely gets dirty easy, but it's black. So look at that. Wow. I honestly think it looks a lot better. So now that that is back in, I can, um, we can start painting the floor, subfloor, cause it looks like it's getting, it's pretty dry. There's a couple of spots that look like it still needs to dry a little bit on that one, but the rest seems dry. Also, I got my bed frame. So insulation's gonna be going in pretty quick. Bed frame's gonna be going up. The walls are gonna be going up. Uh, I believe, I have the rest of my, the rest of the stuff I need for electricals on its way. I feel like this was a lot of prep, but um, things are happening. Also, I think later today, I'm gonna be able to call and get an appointment to take this the van in because I still have about $1,600 worth of repairs to do on the van. And so hopefully I could get 
that done next week on top of everything else. So it really is coming together pretty quickly and I'm really excited about that. So I hope you guys are excited too. Let's go ahead and get this liquid rubber painted on our subfloor so we could put that the subfloor in. <laughs> Okay, I just took the leaf blower and I blew out all the dirt um, from in the van. So now we are going to put the subfloor in because it is now dry. So let's get our subfloor in y'all. It's in, y'all. Honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. And of course, we're gonna have a flooring down. So I am gonna screw it into the van, though. So we are going to be using these self-tapping uh, wood to metal screws just here and there to kind of make sure that it stays in place. Instead of like gl gluing it down, I'm gonna just screw it down. And the kill mat will twist inside the screws and kind of seal it from the bottom as well, so that's nice. is screwed in I am going to Home Depot and I'm gonna check out what they have for flooring and possibly any options for what I may want to use on the walls and also some some um, framing lumber so let's go back from Home Depot obviously and I just sat down to eat some lunch and the Sun is starting to move away from us back behind the trees and it's cold and I don't like the cold but I have about 40 minutes or so I got three boxes of life proof flooring and some strips here that I think I'm gonna use for the ceiling. So I'm gonna take the strips out because I'm not doing the ceiling right now and I'm gonna open up the flooring and I might just start flooring right now. I don't think I have enough time to finish it today, but I think I have enough time to just get started on it. So let's go.
just want to lay it out and see what it looks like. So here's an idea of kind of what the flooring is gonna look like, and I think it looks great. I originally was planning on getting the same flooring we had in the big bus, but this was a little bit lighter, but it still had the browns in it, and I'm happy with it.